Welcome back to the channel guys. Back in the garage of Mr. Flea again. And it's uh, another job as promised this time. It's the ace of his tank. So we've got to get that onto that. Okay, first job up is I'm gonna break out the pack, have a good read of the instructions, and uh, then we'll crack on. Okay, I broke open the pack and I've had a quick read through of the instructions. They are pretty vague as such, but you sort of like get the gist of it, if you know what I mean. So basically what I've done, first off, I've done a parts check. So I broke open the pack and I've gone through all the parts that were in the pack compared to the actual uh, parts list you get with them. Also, it shows that you can use the, uh, what to use the original parts of the bike to use. So that's on the right hand side, left. So I've gone through it, everything seems to be there. Maybe just a couple of bolts um, that are on here that actually aren't in the pack. I might be short a couple, but I've got an extensive range of bolts and whatnot, so that's not gonna be a problem. Right, the first one is basically take the seat and all the panels off. So let's get into it. Okay, that's all the panels seat off just something to note under this section <clears throat> there's some kind of little uh, wiring clip solenoid whatever it is that's actually clipped onto the inside of the actual uh, side panel so when you uh, expose it you'll see this little tag there you see that you can push that in push that in and it literally just clips off okay that's the first part of it done and the second part is removing the tank. Okay guys, I'm going to give you a little bit of a close up of the actual tank. As you can see there were three main bolts to take it off, there were the two at the front and then there was one that uh, you just pivoted the tank and it actually ran underneath the tank, you, it, you can get access to it. The biggest problem is, well not problem, is disconnecting the fuel line. Now under there you've got, let me just show you, you have um, one electric you have one electrical connection, which is there, and then you have the fuel line there. Now that, the electrical connection connects here. It's got a little tab on the back of the actual um, clip. You can see that. Press the back of it, and that will literally just clip off. Now the fuel um, 
line that's a little bit more tricky you just try and show you a close-up of this there you go now that actually sits onto there there's a little yellow retaining clip just get a real small screwdriver you can actually pull that out now I don't know if the camera's going to show this but when this pushes on there there's two little clips inside there that come over this little um, shoulder on the actual uh, the connection there you've literally got to get something nice and fine in there I just used a, uh, a real fine allen key and I literally pushed there's two tabs in there one up one up to the other side and you, it will literally let you retrieve it it seems a little bit fiddly but now you know that those two clips you can just I'm just hoping you can see them. it's just inside there they are actually on this side. You just lift them up. You can get excess by turning it like that. You just lift one up, then the other, and it will literally pull off. Nice little handy tip there, guys. All right, let's crack on. Okay, back to the instructions. Next up, we've got to utilize some of the original uh, items on the tank. And by the looks of this, we need to retrieve these rubbers. Uh, you can see them there. Um, it refers to those as G and H so we've got to use those and then start to build up um, other components from there as in we've got to take the actual fuel pump off and then everything's going to get assembled to the uh, Acebis tank so let's crack on with that there's the actual rubbers taken from there Obviously, that one was in this side that way, this one that way. Um, you could pull either out, pull that out, and just retrieve the actual original. We'll be using this. Now, we're going to take out the actual uh, fuel pump. Okay guys, that was that, just your four bolts, and then you can just strategically maneuver that one out, um, the actual fuel pump out. Yeah, just be aware that you've got the gasket that you're going to also reuse on the back. Make sure that doesn't fall in or you snag it or anything like that. Um, also to note, I did drain down the tank as much as possible before I actually started this um, process. You don't want fuel sloshing around, guys. So either use one of those uh, siphon pumps um, or just run the bike as low as you can before you do the job. Um, now we're going to start to build up some of the bra bracketry and put the actual pump inside the new tank. Got the Ace Abyss tank on the actual bench. Now the next stage is to put the actual fuel pump in there. It does recommend that you use some uh, anti-corrosion grease. So copper slip will do a little bit in each thread just to make sure they don't seize up so you're retaining the actual original Honda gasket it does state to replace that but it is a thick chunky rubber gasket um, like I say my bikes what done less than a thousand miles so I'm going to be, continue to use that one um, it tells you to use um, bolts provided there's four of them and so like we say we're going to put um, copper slip on these and torque these up 
to five Newton meters. After that, we're gonna be using these brackets, which actually go on that way. Um, and they're then gonna be using the five mil Allen key, 10 mil long bolts to secure that. Again, put some um, copper slip on those. So let's crack on with that. Okay, that's a fuel pump in the actual fuel pump so this is the front of the tank this pipe wants to face forward so I'll just give that a little turn around that faces forward sits on there we'd still obviously use the original bracket now on the original bracket I don't know if you can see there's a little arrow mark there but that coincides with a little arrow mark on the original tank it's actually as you're looking at the camera, it'll be on the left hand side. As you sit on the right, it'll be on the right. But basically, this little slot there, keyway, is for this to go over. And this faces that way. And that little hook, that holds the actual um, fuel pipe. So just take note of that. So this must face forward to this tank. So bolts provided, just roughly put them in. And like I said, these are torqued up to five Newton meters. Finger tight those now, and then I'll break out the actual torque wrench. These couple of little brackets on. There's no washers on those, according to the instructions, but. What we'll do, we'll loose fit these, these ones at the moment, just to make sure everything's lining up okay. Same with this bracket. There's no, there's no play in those brackets anyway, so I don't suppose it'll harm just nipping those up as well. I wouldn't swing on these, literally, they're proper secure, they're quite secure, there's no movement like I just said, so I'm sure your panels bolt to this as well, so. Okay, let's break out the torque wrench. Okay, torque wrench set to five Newton meters, let's work his way around. There you go, five Newton meters. Really, really take that process slow, guys. You don't want to pull that insert out of the tank, and it is literally only a bit of plastic, but five Newton meters is nothing, so take your time. Okay, we're on to number five, and that is the actual rubber mount, um, rubber mount for the actual tank. So that's using hardware supplied, so uh, there's your three components. You want 
like I said earlier, the writing on the outside, place the Allen key bolt through, insert around the back. Now this is where uh, the original uh, tank mounts to, so literally is. Screw that in there. I'm just gonna go and do the other side. I'm gonna take this one off and put some anti-seizure um, grease on again, as it's stated, which is copper slip. Okay guys, that's both of those installed. It's this one there. And you can see the other one, that side there. So yeah, so you've got one there, one there. Uh, don't swing on these, I've just nipped those up. Um, just gotta put that back rubber mount into the um, Ace Abyss tank. And then I think we're ready to connect up the wiring and the actual fuel. We've got to put the existing hardware from the original tank into these recesses here. I'm just going to use a bit of uh, WD water just to lubricate it up. We'll put that insert through after. I don't know what type of fit these are, but we're going to find out. Oh, nice and easy with your WD. Easy does it. One one sign. One the other. There's that. Insert through. Quick wipe, and we're good to go. Tank in place. Just roughly put it where it needs to be, and it allows you access. If you can see, I just hope the camera can let you see this. Um, so the fuel pump will actually connect to the front there and you've got your actual clip wire that connects into the existing there. Um, I'm gonna try and, i have just hope you can see the detail there. This will actually be a push and a clips fit and then it's actually got a, 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 a yellow retaining clip that clips over that to keep it, to stop it coming off. So hopefully I can get this in on cam. So there you go. So that's your, um, that's the wiring. Should hear a click. There you go, that's the click. It does tell you to do this once the tank's on, but there's actually no room there, so yeah, that's not gonna happen. So let's have a little push with this. Right, okay, those clips I was telling you about, they're gonna need to be sort of like uh, manipulated over again. Get my, my trusty fine Allen key. A little bit fiddly, but it is achievable. No problem. Now a little retaining clip goes over that. There's a weird type retaining clip. There you go. Just make sure you get it the right way around. I know that's really hard to see, but that's on, that's all secure, that's on. Um, this uh, fuel line then hooks over there as we turn around, lower it down. Okay, I'm going to lower it into position. Put the actual fuel line over that little hook system. That's how it looks. Now we'll get this mounting bolt back through. It's all on at the front. No issues there. I have heard you do get issues if you're using aftermarket radiators with these once the side panels go on, but I've just got the standard trim, so I think we're all good to go there. So let's get that bolt in. Okay, that bolt can be a little bit of a fiddle, but it's all on. It's 
nice and secure. What I did is I put a smaller Allen key through this side um, that allowed me, when I was about to locate the bolt or just push on the Allen key, it pulls the actual uh, mount down perfectly one where you want it and then slide back through. So there it is, it's all mounted securely. Uh, all going good so far. Uh, one thing to note, this tank doesn't obviously now have an under, underside um, overspill. This actually comes from the top there. They do supply a little a rubber section with a handlebar mount. That'd be old school. It'd be the uh, one with a cross brace on it, I'm assuming. So, yeah, that would probably mount on there. And then, I'm just saying, on the overflow, but now it's there. The existing one, the existing wire is under here. They supply a little tiny bolt in the kit and they're just telling you to plug it up. Uh, if you're going to be putting the tank back on, leave this in place. If you're not, just um, take it out of the system. But I'm going to leave mine on. It's not, it's not doing anything at the minute, so I'll do that. Literally, is just push, leave the retain and um, clip around there as well. And just put it out of the way. That's it. Job done. Okay, on to the next. Just working through the uh, sheet again. Obviously, we've put tank on. Put the fuel pump wire connections on and the actual fuel line. Blocked up the little um, overspill breeder. Now we're onto the side panels. We're getting quite close now. Literally, take just say take this little piece of scoop off um, because this actually interferes with the uh, existing tank now. So that li that little triangular piece has got to come off. Um, when I referred to that clip, the sensor the other side, there's that little clip. That so obviously I think we're going to retain that. So just let's just whip this off. And uh, then we can see what clearance we got and how it's going to fit. Give us a quick couple of screws there. Yep. Right, let's get it on the bike. Okay, we've got the panel with that little V section taken off. So let's just offer it up to the bike. seems to fit okay yeah okay there's a little, small little bracket I've got to uh, replace on the rear it allows this mounting to uh, be utilized and apart from that it looks like all the uh, actual bolts line up um, looking good so far get that bracket on okay we we'll have this little section just before we go any further I've actually um, put some of the copper slip there that's this section here that screws on that allows the seat to be mounted so that's that and then you've got this uh, bracket that goes under this section there that allows the mounting of the side panel it is this bracket that's mounted um, mounts it onto the frame with the existing um, thing that was already there. So, yep, you just nip that in. It can move slightly, but you never know. You need might need to just uh, wiggle that just to get the actual panel in. Also, on that, what I've done, I still I've, I've pre uh, greased these up with the um, copper slip again. This then slips over that. And then gives you some, gives you a thread to use your uh, existing hardware for the um, side panels. I've got to do the same the other side, and then uh, jobs are good. Okay, the same the opposite side. The cop slip on there again. Give that a little nip up. I'm just making sure it's nice and square. And even though you do sort of like nip it up, you've still got a little bit of wiggle room. Again, 
that section on there again. Jobs are good. Em. Now to get the panels on. Okay guys, that's job done. Um, to be honest, the last section was fitting these panels to the existing tank, back to the existing bodywork. It's not too clever, it's not a 100% fit. You really do struggle and you have to manipulate the actual panels to get them in position. But overall, it's a good look, it's a good fit. I would say, as you sit on the bike, the right hand side is a bit more, um, of a ball ache to fit, especially because it's got all this shroud system going on. There's more bolts, you bolt from the front, the side, and these black brackets don't seem to line up. So you have to sort of like manipulate them with a, um, a set of mold grips or something, just to bend them slightly into the exact position you need. I mean, I'm happy with them at the moment, but not 100%, as in, they seem to look okay here, but the way this one's, with this bracket mounts here it's it's this panel's a bit of a tight fit and you do struggle to get the bottom bolt in so it might mean a few more alterations later with the bracket under here and then pushing this whole panel slightly forward probably needs to go about five mil i mean it looks okay but you know it is a bit of a push the other side's not so bad uh, another thing I will be doing, I'll be getting rid of this one. I'll be putting a, an aluminium motocross one on um, and probably um, route the pipe down through the uh, headstocks there. But overall, there you go. Now, I did have the decals that ran on the standard tank and the finish the Red Bull section off, so I might have a look at that and see if I can cut those uh, existing stickers and just to still form the Red Bull. I'll see how that looks. Um, apart from that, uh, yeah, I would, I would say, yep, it's a, it's a good fit, but it's not a hundred percent good fit. Do you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's a bit of a, 
bit of a faff in some stages just not quite right but it is achievable it's done it's on uh, like I say a few more alterations on that right that side and, and I'll be happy with it um, so yeah there you go that's the fitment of that I hope it helps you out um, and if you are fitting one yourself and you're struggling please just give me uh, a, a shout out in the comment section and uh, I'll be glad to help in any way I can um, like I say it is a little bit of a faff but just persist with it guys and you will get there as you I'm sure you'll agree it still looks great there you go guys until the next one keep it wheel